What's up YouTube, this is Tube Digger. MPC has now been updated to 2.3 for both the MPC software and the MPC Live and MPC X hardware. And another brilliant feature that comes in 2.3 is Auto Sampler. So what does Auto Sampler do? We well, might remember early in 2018, the MPC Tutor released a really excellent workaround and tutorial for converting VST instruments into multi-sample key group programs. And whilst this was a brilliant process, it seems now that Akai have implemented a fully automated process to achieve the same result. So Auto Sampler can capture VST instruments and convert them to key group programs, but it can also convert external MIDI synthesizers and your external CV gear that you can control with the MPC X also into multi-sample key group programs. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do both. First of all, we're gonna start with a VST plugin and I'm using Serum. So I've just got this ambient pad here. And we're just gonna capture that really nice and simple. So let's go up to tools and choose auto sampler. I'm just gonna move Serum out the way. So here's the settings for Auto Sampler. At the top it shows the track name, which says track two. Program name is plugin 001. You can choose where it records from. So as you can see, we've got a ton of inputs here. So this is where you would set it up to record from an external instrument, but we're gonna do a VST first. So we wanna change that to resample left and right. Down here is the note range, so we can set a minimum note and a maximum note. I'm just gonna leave that at the default. Note stride, I'm not too sure what that is. I've not been given any instructions at all. I'm just winging it and basing this on my own knowledge. Maximum note, we know what that is. Uh, extend minimum maximum notes, I'm not too sure what that is either. Under here we've got velocity, so we can choose to have the multi-sample instrument uh, with one layer, which is the default, or we can have four layers or up to four layers, all with different velocity values. Sampling, we set the note length for the actual samples that are gonna be recorded. So we've got the note length here in seconds and milliseconds, and the tail. So I'm just gonna leave that as the default. The base name. So I assume this is gonna auto rename all the samples and the key group program. So I'm just gonna call it Serum Drone, so that'll be fine. Uh, down here, we've got looping, so I'm gonna enable looping. Now, we can crossfade that loop to give it a smooth looping action. You have to set it to forwards loop mode because if you have seen my other video about another brilliant feature in MPC 2.3, it's crossfade looping, which is available in the sample editor. In here, we've got the same settings for that. So you can set the crossfade length in samples. I've got this set to 20,000. You can set the loop start point and the loop end. So I've got mine set to 0.5 seconds and 2.5 seconds for the loop end. This is very, you know, this is a real trial and error thing. So when you export your, um, or rather auto sample and get your new key group program, you might, have trouble getting your loop perfect because there's no way to really audition it in here. Okay, so anyway, we'll get to that. Underneath that, you've got the crossfade type, equal power. I'm just gonna keep it to equal power and not choose linear. So this should capture this VST and we should be left with a load of looping samples as well within that key group program. Just here it says on completion, it says make current program. So that will swap out the Serum VST and it will replace it with our new key group program and of course switch it to a key group track type. Just at the bottom here it says info session duration 16 sec. I'm not too sure what that means I'm afraid. So I'm just going to press this now and this should auto sample our Serum VST. <laughs> So there you go, that's captured everything we need. It's switched it to a key group program now, so Serum Drone, as you can see on my MPC here and also in the software here. So let's 
Ooh, this and that. The crossfade loop works and it's a nice smooth loop, but you get that dip, obviously. That's a trial and error thing where you would have to go back into the auto sampler settings and adjust your loop position to get that how you want it. But as far as it goes, it's converted a perfectly playable key group instrument. So let's now take a look at converting an external instrument. In my case, it's my Eurorack synthesizer. So I'm just gonna switch my track to track one, and you can see I've got a CV program. So my CV port, I've got a cable coming out of the back of the MPC out of CV port number one, and that's going into this Erica Synths Black 8 Multi. This is a multi, so it's taking that CV from the MPC X, it's going in, and then that will split that out into four copies of that. And one of those copies is going into the pitch control of this IntelliGel Shapeshifter um, oscillator here. So if I turn up the volume of the mixer that this Shapeshifter is connected to, I've also got it going through a, um, an envelope and a uh, VCA, so it's actually a, a proper voice that I can trigger from the pads now. There's a light flashing there, that's my CV gate port, so that's CV number two. So I've got another cable coming into this multi, and that controls the gate, and then the gate goes into an envelope, and then the envelope goes into a VCA. So if we now take a look at the software again, and go to tools up the top, let's choose auto sampler again. And we're going to choose input 2 because that's where my Eurorack synth is coming in. So again, I'm just going to leave all these settings, the minimum note and the maximum note range, and everything else, all the layers, going to keep it all just the same. I'm going to maybe change the looping from 1 second to 2 seconds. Yep, the crossfade I was happy with. Let's just take our chances with it. So it is literally a case of just doing exactly the same thing again. As long as it's coming in to the right input and you've set that up the top here, you should be good to go. It's converted it to CV001 auto sampled. I didn't bother to rename that. We've got it, let's see how it sounds. So again, the loop's not brilliant, but it has converted our external Eurorack synth. That's how easy it is to convert a VST instrument into a fully fledged multi sample key group program, and also how to convert an external synthesizer. In this case, it was a Eurorack, but it is exactly the same process if you've got an external MIDI synth being controlled by your MPC. So, I hope you've enjoyed the video, guys. Please stay tuned for more MPC 2.3 feature update overviews and tutorials. I'll see you on the next one. This is Tube Digger, and I'm out.